California driver somehow crashed their car into the second story of a house. We've had a number of posts about people crashing into houses lately, from Pete Davidson losing control of his Mercedes to a Jeep driver hitting a house so hard, it knocked the house off of its foundation. But this latest one is a real head-scratcher. Normally, drivers who hit people's houses only hit the first floor because that's where the road usually is. But one California driver somehow managed to launch their car into the second floor of the house they hit. Cron 4 reports that the crash in question took place in Placer County, California, a relatively small county between Sacramento and Lake Tahoe. And while the basics of what happened are clear, a Subaru Outback ended up on the second story of someone's house, we still don't know exactly how the car got up there. You can probably assume speed was a factor, but officials have yet to explain how the car got airborne or the condition of the driver at the time of the crash. The good news is, no one in the house was hurt. The driver was reportedly injured, but it appears their injuries from flying into a house were minor. In order to rescue the driver, though, emergency crews had to cut off power to the house and stabilize the roof enough for them to safely get up there. And based on the photos Cal Fire NEU posted on Facebook, it doesn't exactly look like that was a simple process. Interestingly, this wasn't the only car to go airborne and land on the roof of a house in the last week. On Saturday, a driver in Yakindale, North Carolina reportedly lost control of his car and went up a parked car in the driveway like a ramp and crashed through the roof of a home. So maybe that's what happened in California, too. Thankfully, no one in the Yadkinville house was injured, although the driver and passenger were taken to the hospital for treatment.